Brother Ben is here with us this week. I'll be working on week eight's entry in the faith-based box, 12-week devotional, Firefield Generation, sub-box number five. And I'm reading from scriptures from this modern English creative journaling Bible, The Promises of God. And I'm using items from Michelle's faith-based sticker shop, Ben Bon Alley. Use my PR code Vicky20 to save on your purchases. And this is week seven. So take out your devotional book, Bible, journal, planner, and join me in week eight's entry. In week eight, we are closing out the portion of Who is the Firefield Generation through fictional stories. These stories give a modern day context to give clarity as to what we as Christians are faced with or see in our walk today. The focus scripture for the week are Luke 8 verses 1 through 3, Matthew 28 verses 1 through 10. Devotional reads, again, this is a fictional story. My name is Mary Ann, and I spent many years prostituting, and I was in and out of mental institutions. Doctors could not pinpoint what was really wrong with me, but I was tormented by evil spirits. I had no Christian background until I encountered a believer in Christ who God sent to deliver me. I was in awe of the freedom and peace I felt after so many years of torture. I was even more interested in the God that delivered me from bondage. I became a Christian and fervently studied the Word of God for years and even graduated Bible college. But this didn't matter to many devout Christians as many rejected me for preaching the good news of the gospel because I was a woman. I, did, I didn't allow this to hold me back. I deflected the naysayers and kept moving forward. Through my ministry, I've been able to minister to countless people. I have seen limbs grow, money miraculously show up in bank accounts, many delivered from severe demonic possessions, and many other miracles. One thing is for sure, God is no respecter of persons. The prayer for this week, Lord Jesus, thank you that who I am doesn't dictate what you can do through me. Amen. Focus scripture reads Luke 8 verses 1 through 3 titled Women Who Accompany Jesus. Afterward, he went throughout every city and village, preaching and bringing the good news of the kingdom of God. With him were the twelve and some women who had been healed of evil spirits and infirmities. Mary, called Magdalene, from whom seven demons had come out, and Joanna, the wife of Chusa, Herod's steward, and Susanna, and many others who supported him with their possessions. Matthew 28 verses 1 through 10 reads, the title is The Resurrection. At the end of the Sabbath, as it began to dawn on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to see the tomb. And then there was a great earthquake, for the angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat on it. His countenance was like lightning and his garments white as snow. The soldiers shook for fear of him and became like dead men. The angel said to the women, Do not be afraid, for I know that you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He is not here, for he has risen, and he said, Come and see the place where the Lord lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples that he has risen from the dead, and indeed he is going before you to Galilee. There you will see him. Listen, I told you. So they departed quickly from the tomb with fear and great joy and ran to bring his disciples word. As they went to tell his disciples, suddenly Jesus met them saying, greetings. They came and took hold of his feet and worshiped him. Then Jesus said to them, do not be afraid. Go tell my brothers to go to Galilee and there they will see me.
from the daily podcast with Michelle and Audrey, Healing Through the Word. Part of what Michelle said was, there are so many that are tormented in, this, in their souls and minds today. We are led by the Holy Spirit. It may be just one word or a gesture. However, you are led by the Spirit of God. We just have to be willing and open for the Holy Spirit to operate through us. We never know the day, the minute, the hour. Whatever opportunity that God give us, that we will be able to affect and change someone's life. Take a Salah moment. Think on where you are right now and where you desire to be in Christ. What is it you want to fulfill in the in this earth? It needs to line up with the purpose that God has for you. Go in your quiet time and seek God's face and know what it is that he has purposed and planned for you in every single day of your life. You want to leave this life empty. You don't want to leave full. You want to come to the end of this journey and come before the master and hear, well done, thou good and faithful servant. And here's my week eight entry. Give this video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and turn on your notification bells to be notified whenever I upload a video. Thanks for spending your time with me. Until next time, I hope today your heart desires. Latest.